So today we'll be going over over separable differential equations and so these are nothing more than differential equations where you're actually able to separate the independent variable with the dependent variable on both sides of the equation. In other words you have your y variables on one side and your x variables on the other. So let's go over an example. For this first problem, we have dy dx plus 2xy squared is equal to 0. So this is a first order differential equation. And so let's go ahead and separate the variables, the x from the y. So now you see that first off, I multiply both sides of the equation by dx. So you have dy plus 2xy squared times dx is equal to 0. Then just move this to the other side of the equation. So dy and also divide by y squared on both sides. So dy over y squared is equal to negative 2x dx. So now you have your y variable separated from the x variables. And so from here, all that's left to do is integrate both sides to solve this differential equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So now this is what you're left with. You have, since these are both indefinite integrals, in this case, each side will have an arbitrary constant. But it's kind of redundant to write constants on both ends. So you could just move one constant to the other side. And a constant minus a constant is, of course, another constant. So you could simplify this a little bit further. So you're left with negative 1 over y is equal to negative x squared plus your arbitrary constant here. And now let's get to a form that we're more familiar with. So now after doing the inverse and making gain the negative out of there, you have the y is equal to 1 divided by x squared plus an arbitrary constant. So this is your solution for this differential equation. So for this example, we have the differential equation dy dx is equal e to the power of 3x plus 2y. So <clears throat> again, we're going to do, um, this is a separable differential equation because you can separate the x values from the y values and put them on each side of the equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So dy dx is equal to e to the power of 3x times e to the power of 2y and get the 2y to the other side. So you have e to the power of negative 2y dy is equal to e to the power of 3x times dx. Now again, all you have to do here is integrate both sides and solve. So you have here negative e to the power of negative 2y divided by 2 is equal e to the power of 3x over 3 plus some arbitrary constant. Keep in mind that there's another arbitrary constant on this side of the equation as well, but of course you could just combine them on one side of the equation just to simplify a bit. So now let's go ahead and get the equation with y on one side of the equation. Let's go ahead and do that. So first, you multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2, cancel these 2's out on the one side, and you're left with e to the power of negative 2y is equal to negative 2 thirds e to the 3x plus your arbitrary constant. Because remember, your arbitrary constant times another constant is going to be a constant, so you go ahead and simplify it right C. Now, next step is to, is to um, cancel out that base e, so you multiply both sides with the natural log. And then you're left with negative 2y is equal to the natural log of this. And then you just divide by negative 2. So finally, here's your solution for a differential equation. So this example is a little bit different. It says find an explicit solution of the given initial value problem. So this is where you have an initial condition to the differential equation. So for the previous two examples, we've dealt with problems with the arbitrary constant, or, uh, one parameter family of solutions because we had no initial condition. But in this case, we do. And so we're no longer going to have arbitrary constant because we're actually able to solve for it. So let's go ahead and do this one. So of course, first you separate the variables, you get your x's on one side and your t's on the other. In this case, it's just a constant. Let's go ahead and integrate both sides of the equations. So for our first side of the equation, we have tan inverse of x is equal to 4t plus this arbitrary constant. So let's go ahead and get the x by itself on one side of the equation. So we have x is equal to tangent 4t plus the arbitrary constant c. Now, of course, to solve for c, we do have this initial condition. So all we have to do is for the t value plug in pi over 4, and we know that this function is equal to 1. So we, let's go ahead and do that. So we have 1 is equal to tangent pi plus c. So now we do just some um, 
algebraic manipulation and go ahead solve for c. So we have the arbitrary constant c is equal to negative 3 fourth times pi. So let's go ahead and plug it into the equation that we originally had. So we have x is equal to tangent 4t take with 3 fourths pi. So this is our answer to our differential equation. So for the next example, we have x squared times dy dx is equal to y take away xy with your initial condition at y at x equal negative 1, your y function is equal to negative 1 as well. So now let's go ahead and separate these variables, get the x on one side and the y on the other. So first we multiply dx on both sides of the equation, and then you factor out the y on this side. You have y times 1 take away x dx, and then you divide y, get y on this side and x squared on the other side. dy over y is equal to 1 take away x over x squared dx, and you could further simplify this side of the equation. So you're left with dy over y is equal to 1 over x squared, take away 1 over x dx. Now you integrate both sides of the equation. So we have the natural log of y is equal to negative 1 over x, take away the natural log of x plus your arbitrary constant. Now let's do some. Since you see your initial conditions is negative 1 and negative 1, you see if you plug in the ln negative 1, it'll be undefined. So let's go ahead and actually move the natural log on this side and actually put them together. So we're finally left with the natural log of x times y is equal to negative 1 over x plus your arbitrary constant. Now we could in fact plug in your initial condition here and solve for your constant. So we have the natural log of 1 which is equal to <clears throat> which is equal to 0 here minus 1 is equal to c, so your arbitrary constant is equal to c. Now let's go ahead and plug it in to the equation and let's get the y on one side of the equation here. So once you get y on one side of the equation and you plug in your arbitrary constant, this is your solution to the differential equation. So these are the problem differential equations that you're able to solve by separating the variables, which is the simplest method.